Hello, everybody. Welcome to our boss guide for the Throne Watcher and Throne Defender fight in Dark Souls 2. I'm Ryan Telgenik with GamesRadar.com. And I'm Lorenzo Valoria. All right, Lorenzo, first thing you want to do for this fight, make it much easier, summon Benhart of Jugo. Yeah, the guy with the big-ass sword you meet in the beginning of the game. <laughs> you know, a lot of times I was tempted to kill him to get the Moonlight Sword. Uh, I remember using that in Demon Souls and uh -huh. loving that weapon. Uh -huh. uh, maybe I'll do that on my second playthrough. Yeah. But if for the sake of my first playthrough, I was glad I did not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it looks like uh, this is another one of those bosses that's uh, actually two bosses at the same time. So yes. summoning an, another AI character or uh, you know online an, another player would be totally helpful in this situation. Especially, I'm glad that it was this NPC because he is got a good amount of health and does decent damage. Um, now, you'll notice that this, uh, the Throne Watcher, is an agile offensive uh, char character who does a lot of damage. Very low health, very easy to take out. Um, and then the Throne Defender, obviously, sword and shield, much more difficult. Uh, be careful. Also, this arena, there are pits surrounding it that you can fall off of and die, which I did multiple times. Um, now, <laughs> here's the trick about this fight, though. If you don't kill them both close enough at the same time, the other respawns. Ooh. So, you'll see in a second, I did not kill Throne Defender fast enough. He revives Throne Watcher, and I'm pretty sure what you're about to see is me being like, oh shit, that same thing's gonna happen if I don't take this check out. <laughs> uh, and then, I'm pretty sure I feel this as well. Uh, move sets, though, she's... So, the Throne Watcher is gonna be doing, like, cartwheels and flipping around all over the place. Um, when the Throne Defender is down, she powers up her weapon. It's sort of like Ornstein and Smo in the sense that she get, I think each of them get slightly stronger when the other one is inactive. Right. Um, luckily, good old Bernhardt over here, Benhart, Bernhardt, is just, uh, running around smashing <laughs> people with his weapon. Um, now, at this point, I think, after I just hit her a ton, I was thinking, man, I should probably not hit her anymore. Yeah. And yeah. Then, uh, <laughs> but unfortunately I was already too excited and wound up in my attack animation and was knocking her out. Um, <laughs> yeah, it seems like a good strategy on this fight would be to, uh, whittle one down maybe like to a third th of health, yeah, a third, 25% or something, and then go attack the other one and, you know, y you'd have an easier time yeah. killing them simultaneously. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And then while Watcher's down, Throne Defender catches his sword with electricity, so be careful. Additional damage there. But both have relatively low HP. Put enough damage on, kill them at the same time, and, they'll buy, and the uh, encounter will end. That's it for Throne Watcher and Throne Defender. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Dark Souls videos, and check us out at gamesradar.com.